Hi, this is Joey, and I'm here to do our weekly flutterby here at Birdsong Quilting. I am going to talk about a, an introductory quilting accessory called the rotary cutter. When I first started quilting, I had no idea what a rotary cutter was, and it is probably the most commonly used tool in quilting, so I wanted to talk a little about it for anyone who is new to quilting. A rotary cutter looks like this. It has a round blade that comes up out of the guard to cut fabric. It makes it very easy to cut fabric. You just put a ruler alongside it and you can cut in straight lines like that. And it, it makes uh, two pieces of fabric very easily. You can also use a specialized ruler like this. If you can see, it has slits in it. So if you need to make multiple cuts, we sell these rulers here. They're called stripology rulers. And you can just align the rotary cutter right in the slits here and you can make small cuts very easily like this. We have multiple sizes of rotary cutter. This is 45 millimeters, which is the most commonly used size in quilting. We also have some tiny rotary cutters in case you want to do fine work. It goes all the way up even to a 60 millimeter if you want a very large rotary cutter. And there are also some special special blades that you can get for your rotary cutter. Here's a pinking blade. We also have a skip a stitch blade that creates periodic cuts if you want to be weaving uh, ribbon in and out, something like that. Um, this rotary cutter auto closes when you're not using it. That's handy if you have pets or children around. And uh, this kind of rotary cutter, you push up the guard when not in use to protect everybody if you knock your rotary cutter off the table or something like that. So a rotary cutter is something that you absolutely should get if you are considering quilting or just any sewing in general. Come on into Birdsong and we can point you in the direction of the correct rotary cutter for you to make your cutting much quicker and easier.